and it's been a few days since I have vlogged. Maybe even like four or five days since I've vlogged. Um, because I did a little working this weekend and so those days I didn't really vlog. Um, but anywho, today I am home and we are finishing up some toast. We had some pumpkin butter toast and some bagels. And tell us tomorrow. Tomorrow's Hurricane Michael. Oh, Mason's a little um, on edge about the hurricane that's coming through the Florida Panhandle because it's supposed to come right up over our House. our county. So, um, okay. and it's not supposed to lose much speed. Only, only like ten. So, anywho, of course, I'm working a night shift tomorrow night, and so. I'll be leaving maybe around 5 or 5.30. Hopefully it will have, the worst of it will have moved through by then, but we'll see. So we're just not going to think about that right now. I'm sure it'll be fine. So this morning I've got some, sorry, see I'm trying to do the cinnamon bread again. I think I showed it in the last, one of the last vlogs, but look, it hasn't even mixed up. I wonder why it's not mixing. Hmm. Okay, listen, you cannot eat that. You cannot eat that. We need to put, we need to get a better hiding place for the trash can, don't we? So I'm still in my jammies and my cozy little bedroom shoes. And the kids are practicing their tin whistles. We started tin whistle yesterday in CC Community and Mason's trying to teach Maddie how to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Can, can you see yeah. how it's telling yeah, it's like them, them, them. you? Yeah, you can see what fingers need to be covered up. Yeah. Are you ripping the plate of, oh, little man, you're ripping it up again. Okay. I'm going to have to put the trash can up here. This is our go-to. I'll set it up here on this ledge. Okay. Okay. He's walking everywhere, you guys. He is all over the place. <laughs> and they had, so the people who lived here before us had this, like flooring on this little ledge and so Solomon has discovered that it just slides right off and he just pulls it right off <laughs> don't you you just pull it right off why would you do that to well we probably need to do something like either glue some down or like just take it up and paint there <sighs> but that's for another day another time we're getting ready to get started on all of our homeschool work and clean your rooms and today our goals are lots of cooking, clean, I have to clean my bedroom and bathroom, it is yeah. disastrous. So I'm going to clean that room and then Mason's room needs to be sorted and clean and yeah. we are um, purging a little bit of, we're starting our pre-holiday purge because there's definitely some toys and stuff in the house that needs to be gotten rid of that the kids don't really play with a lot anymore. And so we're going to start with that. And that is the goal for the day. Get all the work done as usual. So I think I'm going to do the Mississippi roast. I'm probably going to go ahead and put that in the crock pot. And I also got these really adorable little um, potatoes. I think I'm going to make these as a side dish with the um, roast. So, anywho, I think I'm going to roast these with some olive oil, salt, pepper, maybe some garlic and rosemary, something like that. So we'll do that with our roast. We'll have our little cinnamon bread for dessert, which will be fun. And then I'll probably go ahead like I did last week and bake up another casserole or two just on the days for the rest of the week when I am too busy to do dinner. That's the plan. Hopefully we get it all done. Very nice. Oh my gosh, I can't do I have a a new little toy that I'm gonna share with you guys. Hang on one sec. Hang on one sec. Literally five. Give me five minutes and then you guys can play again. I just wanted to show that. So I have a new little toy that um, was sent to me by Shark as a um, 
gift just to try out and see how we like it. It is the Shark Ion Robot, and it is a robotic vacuum cleaner. And I have really been wanting one of these since we moved into this house <laughs> with all these wood floors that I can never keep clean enough. So here it is. And there's Maddie, of course. <laughs> um, so it's got this little dock, docking station, and it will dock itself and recharge. And then there's this removable vacuum cleaner on. that's on the back that also recharges, which is really cool. Just a minute. And there's a, there is an app that you can download that you can set a cleaning schedule for the shark where it will, where it will dock and clean on its own on a regular schedule. So, um, we're trying that out and so far we really like it. It stores all the yuck back here and right now it's fully charged. So let's see what it does. Right, back up little man. <laughs> of course like, your baby can't come on with it. <laughs> Alright, let's click the button. Alright, watch out. There he goes. Cool. I can just follow the thing for ages. <laughs> And this is what it looks like when mom forgets about the bread in the bread machine. <laughs> yeah, it does not look like bread at all. Yeah, it's like, mom, is it cinnamon bread? Yeah. What? Is it cinnamon? Oh my gosh, this feels yeah, like... Don't touch, don't touch, don't touch. It feels so lumpy. So I got a little busy today and I completely forgot that I had bread in the bread machine and I needed to take it out and like roll it out and do all the things. So yeah, this is what it looks like when you forget about your bread in the bread machine. And there down there is the top of the bread pan. So um, I think it's time for us to do a little something with this bread. What do you think? Yeah, uh, it feels so lumpy. Mom, a taste test. <laughs> no, not yet. Mom. Hmm? Don't touch it, baby. You haven't washed your hands. It feels so fat. <laughs> to the song with more hand motions and it is so much fun the kids enjoy it so much so um, we're getting ready to bake our bread I just got off 
the computer with tech services for the um, our Echo Show started malfunctioning, so I've got to send that back. And we're gonna get a new one. Yeah, so I was literally on the very last day for return, so praise God that I did not procrastinate that at least. We are getting ready to um, bake our bread. It has risen a little bit more. That one's a little wopsided, but we're gonna put that in the oven. We just took our bread out. So here is our bread, yum yum. Let that cool. Put a little bit of powdered sugar on it. Yummy, yummy. Let's go finish our work, kiddos. <laughs> we are currently working on a poem called Our Mother by George Cooper. And the kids are doing really well with it. <laughs> Our Mother by George Cooper. Hundreds of stars in the pretty sky. Hundreds of shells in the shore together. Hundreds of birds. They go singing by. Hundreds of lambs in the sunny weather. Uh, hundreds of... Dew drops to greet the dawn, hundreds of bees and the purple clover, hundreds of shells, hundreds of the last one. Shells, shells, shells. of yep butterflies yep. to greet uh and, no. the, and the, on the lawn. Mm -hmm. But uh, but all I want to mother the the world the wide world over. <laughs> That's good. Hey, uh, Okay, we got there, but it was not without a little bit of work, so. So the poem is, hundreds of stars in the pretty sky, hundreds of shells on the shore together, hundreds of birds that go singing by, hundreds of lambs in the sunny weather, hundreds of dewdrops to greet the dawn, hundreds of bees in the purple clover, hundreds of butterflies on the lawn, but only one mother the wide world over. So, the tricky part about this poem is that it all, all the lines start with hundreds and all of the sentences name a different thing. So you have to remember which goes in what order, so it's really, really good for their brains. Homeschool is finally done and it's 5.30, so some days it just kind of takes longer than others. Maddie still has a little bit of math to do, but everybody needed a little bit of a decompression, so we're going to... Hold off on that, but we are like officially done. We'll do some read alouds tonight, um, which is, you know, just kind of the norm. So Maddie is trying to do a little bit of painting. I'm trying to unthaw the colors out. Unthaw them out. <laughs> and I'm trying to put them on here so I can. Oh, okay, I see. And schoolroom is needing a bit of a tidy, so we're gonna do that. Yep, and Mason said I have to help and I, and I and my baby has been asleep literally all afternoon long. So I am going to go get him up so that he does not sleep too late. And um, I think I'm gonna work on roasting those little baby potatoes. And I went ahead and made another loaf of bread for dinner in this uh, bread machine. And we have been digging into the cinnamon bread that's so yummy. So let's go check on Baby Bear. And then it's um, laundry and get this house in order time, which I really wanted to do a lot of today, but homeschooling just kind of took a lot of time today. Some days it's the case. Let's check on Baby. Baby bear. Baby bear. Hi, baby bear, you sleepy monkey. Hey, you sleepy monkey. Hey, sleeper. You're such a little snoozer. You're a little snoozer. See, I gotta keep everybody up all night and then sleep all day. <laughs> you keep everybody up all night and then you sleep all day. Is that how it works? Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. Oh, my little darlings. Mm. Hey, darlings. Hey. <laughs> Did you have a good night's rest or day's rest? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Did you? Can I have this? No.
Come here. Come here, you little stinker. Come here, you little stinker. What do you see? He sees the camera. Do you see the camera? Do you see the camera? <laughs> Say hello. You see yourself? <laughs> Where? Where are you at? <gasps> you see yourself? This is the most scrumptious, delicious, scrumptious little man. Are you delicious? Say I'm delicious. <laughs> He's so yummy. <laughs> no. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. You give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. No, no. <laughs> Oh. Give me a kiss. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>